right, what's going on everybody? Hank Harrison, Double H Precision Fishing. Coming to y'all for uh, another truck video. And as y'all can see, uh, way loaded down back there. Um, hey, if y'all don't already know, I practically live in my truck. Um, so at this point, um, I don't actually live in my truck. But this is my office. So everything that I do, everything that I could ever need is back here. So y'all are just gonna have to bear with it. This is not me preparing for a video. This is me on the road. Um, I just got done picking up a whole bunch of stuff, um, a bunch of batteries, as a matter of fact, Pro Guide and Impulse Lithiums for two different customers. Those are gonna be two awesome videos that I'm gonna be putting up on my YouTube channel. Y'all absolutely smashed the MBT install. And being fair, guys, I know it wasn't the greatest video of all time. Uh, when it came to actually getting into the nitty gritty of everything, I have to focus. And so I'm going to get better at giving y'all updates in those installation videos because I think that um, y'all don't want to see a 45 minute long installation every single little detail. Y'all want to see the, eye, the, the high points pretty much how it's done. And then if y'all have questions, y'all can contact me or y'all can leave comments and I will reply to them. Um, so make sure to check out that video. But in today's video, while I'm on the road, I wanted to kind of start a new series. Um, and in this series, it's going to be um, a number of different topics, right? Whether it be hot topics in the industry or what's going on in the fishing world, um, stuff that's on my mind, ideas that I have. Um, I'm just gonna kind of talk about them while I'm driving, while I have quote unquote dead time um, and try and get a video, video up for y'all that's in between uh, maybe five to 12 minutes, right? Whether it's an easy, short to the point topic um, or it's a little bit more drawn out. Um, so with that being said, today's topic is gonna be about percentages. So what I mean by percentages is how many times when I'm on the water, am I being productive, right? I don't know how many times we're casting in a day, right? We're gonna, let's just, let's put it out there and let's make it an even number. Let's say we make 100 casts a day, right? And let's say I catch 10 fish. So my cast percentage is 10%. 10% of 100 is 10% or is 10. So if I catch 10 fish out of 100 casts, that's pretty solid, right? Sorry, got a phone call in the middle of that. But going back to my point, if I make 100 casts and I catch 10 fish, that means 10% of my day was spent catching a fish, right? But let's say that out of those 100 casts, I casted at 50 fish and only 10 of them bit, right? I left 40% of the fish that I casted at in the lake. But there's a lot of things that go on with that, right? I also am gathering information every single time that I'm casting at a fish, right? Whether it be on forward-facing sonar or whether I'm not getting bit fishing shallow, there's a lot of different things, right? Let's say I'm not using forward-facing sonar and I only catch 10 fish, I made 100 casts that day. Well, that's not a lot of casts, but for this video and for the easy math, it is, right? In that situation, right, I'm having to figure it out on the fly, you know? Use it looking at my weather conditions, looking in the water, looking at my clarity, um, seeing and paying attention to where these fish bit, whether they're shallow or deep, right? Really paying attention to all the little nuances that can help me make decisions, right? And these are things that we all learn as anglers, whether we're tournament fishermen, your average Joe fisherman, um, you just wanna go out there and catch fish, you're on the bank. These are all things we take into consideration when we get a bite, when we catch a fish. There's a thousand different things. How do I increase my percentages, right? How do I go from a 10% fisherman to a 20% fisherman? How do I increase my cast to fish catch ratio? And 
become a more effective fisherman. You hear, you've heard me talk about it on the channel. You've heard, heard me talk about it in my videos. Um, and in my last video, I wanna be the most effective and efficient angler on the water. And how do I do that? Well, I use forward-facing sonar, right? I use my side imaging, my down imaging. I use my mapping, right? I'm gonna use every single piece of technology that I have, including weather apps. I have a whole file, little one of those little squares that holds a bunch of apps on your phone. I have one and a half of those completely filled up with weather apps, wind apps, forecasting. Some of them are good for radar. Some of them are good for forecasting. Some of them are good for wind. Some of them are good for barometric pressure. I have a moon phase app. I have a sunrise sunset app. I have everything that I could ever imagine when it comes to weather and forecasting. Forward facing sonar for me, and I've said this to a lot of people, and it actually perks some ears, right? There, I would actually say, about 75% of the year, I am not using forward-facing sonar to catch fish. I am not live scoping. I am not actively looking at a fish and watching my lure and navigating that lure around that fish to make sure that that fish bites. Now, 25% of the year, which is pretty much right now, the deep winter and pre-spawn, I am doing that, absolutely. I am using my forward-facing sonar to try and pick off fish, to try and really fish some brush piles or some lay downs or for whatever it might be. I am really, really working hard to get fish to bite because the opportunity presents itself for those fish to be caught that way. The set rest of the year, the other 75% of the year, I'm using the bank line, I'm using the water level, I'm using the current that's being pulled, I'm using the weather forecasting, I'm using my side scan, I'm using my forward facing sonar to feed me information to then make a new equation for each day that I'm on the water. I'm making new equations. I'm putting all of this information into a computer, which is a brain, right? Whether it's yours, mine, whatever, and I am making decisions on the fly on how to get a fish to bite, right? So, when y'all are out there and y'all are either getting frustrated with forward-facing sonar or you might be getting beat by it like I do, right? I'm not a prodigy. I just spend a lot of time in the truck thinking. And this is one of those topics that I have thought about very, very hard is how do I increase my percentages? and. You should always, as an angler, whether you're wanting to fun fish, if you're just wanting to catch more fish, if you're wanting to be a better tournament angler, you need to be looking at the ways to become more effective and efficient. Two of the biggest things, right? Whether that's navigating the lake faster, do I need to spend more time with my maps? Do I need to go out and purchase boat lanes? Do I need to just go ride around and see where I can and can't run right now to navigate so that I can get to my tournament spot faster? Or is it, hey, I need to go spend more time with my electronics or I need to call Hank and figure out what weather apps he's using, right? There's so many things that you can be doing outside of just forward-facing sonar to increase your percentages, guys, to increase your fish catch ratio so that not only are you having more fun on the water, especially this time of year, it's a tough time of year sometimes, you can have great days, and you can have days that make you give you, they give you that humble piece of pie. So pay attention to what is gonna help you increase your percentages in your fish catch ratio to cast ratio, and your, your catch fish catch to cast ratio, that's the better way to explain it. Whether that be getting better with your forward facing sonar, your side imaging, your mapping, your weather forecasting, your natural ability to be, um, okay, one with the bass, right? Being able to have instinct in fishing, being able to see the water color differences, being able to notice that this grass line isn't like that grass line, that's why I'm not getting bit, or 
being able to dissect why a fish bit right where it was. These are all things that you can be doing to increase your fish catch to cast percentage. And I encourage you to take a look at it, guys. That is going to be today's talk. I don't have a quote unquote name for this series. I kind of thought of a good one would be just my opinion, right? Double H precision fishing, my opinion, right? What do I think about certain things? What are ideas that I have? If y'all have a better name for it, maybe it's Hank's Rants or Truck Rants or I don't know. If you got a better idea, let me know. And if you like videos like this where I am in the truck, I have free time and I want to give y'all some information that I've thought about, um, let me know. Leave it down in the comment section. Make sure to like and subscribe, guys, so you don't miss out on any videos, as well as hit that notification bell. It'll always let you know when I drop a new video. And make sure to follow my socials, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, so that y'all see when I am dropping new videos, guys. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. We'll see y'all on the next one.